Hey everyone, today I have a very exciting step forward in my Azanthic Crested Gecko project. Inside this box are five babies that we're going to be taking a look at today. So let's get right on into it. No more delay. I bought these babies from Wicked Arboreals out of Florida and I cannot be more stoked right now. These are a really exciting step in the Azanthic Crested Gecko project, not only because of what they are, but also because of how many of them are. Getting into the box, take off the styrofoam. Gentle as we can be, we have the first of these babies. So I'm going to show this angle while they're in the container try and get some more angles here with this camera so this if you couldn't tell is a lily white it is also a 50 percent head for azanthic so i don't want to disturb these ones too much so what i'm going to do for this video is i'm going to try to get some nice shots with my phone and insert them while i'm talking here so that I don't have to handle them too much. I have the enclosure right in front of me so this little one can go straight into it. I think I may have picked one of the best ones <laughs> to show first. So here is this little one. So what I figured would be fun to do with this is just kinda let it go. Oh, there's the angle that really shows nicely. Come here, little one. Into the enclosure you go. Boom. Oh, paper towel went with it. So the extra exciting thing about this whole entire situation is that these geckos, while they are small, you know, that is a three gram gecko in there. Wicked Arboreals looked at them through a USB microscope and determined that it's possible that four of these five are females. There's also names of the parents on these tubs. So I'll be able to show the parents in the video as well. So that previous was Yuki and 100% Het. So I'll show those. This is also Yuki and 100% Het. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see where this one is at from this angle, but wow, this one is stunning. Okay, see if we can show, get another view here. Look at the, the neck and the pattern on there. That is fantastic. And there's still three more, five of these. This is also a 50% hip. And I guess before we you know, keep going with the video. I'm just going to double check that everyone's doing okay. So this one is good. Yes, everyone appears, appears to be doing well. And wow, the one at the bottom is not significantly bigger, but definitely bigger than the rest. So I'm seeing that all of these look okay right now. I'm going to just set the box aside. Oh. <laughs> and that little one just decided to jump to the edge of its new enclosure in it goes beautiful and the green screen is removing the green from the plants so next up we have the baby from banana split and 100 percent het so as i said before all of these are 50 percent het lily whites four of the five could be females obviously at this size i mean it's really hard to say with the odds being four potentially out of five being female i thought this would be a really solid option so here is oh this one is already out beautiful as well i'm getting shots right now with my phone to show look at the white on the crown oh there's a good angle on it that looks nice this one just does not want to leave my hand. There we go. Okay, into the container. Temporary enclosure set. 
And what's cool about the fact that I have this YouTube channel now and I'm doing these unboxing videos and showing these geckos at this small age is that as I make videos and show them as they get bigger, oh, the tape, the tape definitely kind of blocks this one. But as I make videos and show them as they grow, it's an opportunity to see progression in animals like these lily whites i've heard they progress like crazy i've never grown out a lily white but i've heard they grow out and just progress insanely as they get bigger so it's really exciting to have the opportunity to show that and also you know i buy these from different people like wicked arboreals and they get to see the progression in video form as they get bigger so that's really cool too all right this one is already looking to move but very white sides on this one and here we go putting this little one into its enclosure and so that is four out of the five 50 percent het azanthic lily whites the other thing that i had in mind about this one is that even if they don't prove out they're 50 percent hets so there's not a hundred percent chance they prove out obviously but they're still beautiful lily whites even if they don't prove out so that's another aspect and reason why i was even more apt to do this and working with Amanda at Wicked Arboreals was very easy, very simple process. She sent me pictures and it was a quick deal. Quick payment, quick send, everything was good. So we have one more. And this one comes from Past Something Lily White and 100% Het. And it's a little bit bigger even. So let's go ahead and, well, I guess... We can show it from this angle. You can see that this one's a little bit bigger, but wow, you can see the white on its sides. And wow, yeah, this one is certainly much bigger than the others. In the grand scheme of things, it's not a ton bigger, but it is definitely bigger. So here it is. Beautiful. Now we'll get some shots with my phone to show you a little bit better look at it. And the enclosure that I'm going to use for the last gecko is actually a little bit harder to show with this whole setup. So I went ahead and put it away, but those are the five 50% het lily whites that I have just unboxed and received from Wicked Arboreals. And it was nothing but a pleasant experience working with them and super easy. So if you wanna check them out, I've linked their page in the description down below. And one thing that I think is really cool about this whole Azanthic project that I've got going on here is that I'm not only sourcing different morphs, you know, the full pinstripe, non-lily white, these lily whites, the ready to breed male that has all the Dalmatian spots and everything else that I've got, they're coming from different places in different people. So there's been different geckos bred into those original AE lines so that when I put these together, you never know what could happen with it. So I hope that you guys are as excited about this journey as I am. I hope that you choose to hit the subscribe button down below and stick around for this journey as it develops. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.